everyone. Uh, I have been meaning to do a review on this Mastercase Pro 3 that I picked up a little bit ago, uh, but I realized that my little clip-on microphone battery had been on for about three months and I never recharged it or replaced it, so uh, I figured I'd wait till I got some new batteries. Um, for some reason, Amazon took forever to send them, and uh, that's, that's why it's taken a couple of days. Uh, like I said, I've got the Pro 3 Master Case uh, by Cooler Master here. It's a wonderful case. Uh, it's huge for what it is. Um, I did not <laughs> expect it to be as big as it is. It is uh, a mini or micro ATX case, but it's as, as big as my uh, Fantex uh, P400 that fits a full-size ATX board in it. Um, there's a lot of interesting features on it. Uh, mostly that everything's removable on it. Um, uh, like I was saying, it, it, it's got some interesting features. Um, it's it's a lot like just about any other um, mid-range case you're going to find. Um, the, the thing that I like about this more than the last case, the S340, is it actually has the removable drive trays, which I, I don't know why you would ever leave that out. I mean, this, this, this has to cost them like a, a nickel or a dime to put that in there. Um, one thing that I actually saw before I even opened this case that I thought was really impressive is that the hard drive cage, I can't unscrew it right now, maybe I'll show you later, uh, is actually not only fully removable, but you can slide it over to give room for a radiator on the front. Um, like I, like I, I said before, the S340 that I did a review on, it didn't really have a lot of room for anything. Uh, there was a little bit of a little room on the front for the radiator. It just had a single fan spot on the top and a single on the back. And uh, I mean, it, that that's a great case too. But this is a, this is definitely gonna cool your stuff a little better. Um, like most cases uh, that aren't. Rosewell cheapy things. Uh, it's got the removable uh, tray for your power supply in the back. You've got four spots for graphic cards or whatever cards you want. You've got a removable back panel, which is no, no other case has that. Um, it comes with the Velcro straps. This is always a nice touch. If you don't have this, I mean, What's the point of selling your case for more than you know 20, 30 bucks if you don't have this another cheap addition? Uh, you got all your your normal front I/O cables. You know, every case has that. Um, on the front, we've got USB 3.0, no 3.1, just 3.0. Uh, reset button, power button, which surprisingly these kind of have been fading lately. Uh, a lot of these cases that I've been seeing lately just have a power button, no reset button. It's not really a big deal. I mean, I personally don't even like to use a reset button if I don't have to. Um, like I said, 3.0, not 3.1. Top of this guy has the removable tray, uh, sound dampening tray. Shows you the dust filter. Uh, it's got a nice big grate mesh on the back and our large grate in the top and thin on the back like every other dust filter on the planet and room for two 140 millimeter or yeah 140 millimeter fans not just 120. Um, this thing is just kind of huge I don't really understand why it's as big as it is because there's not a whole lot of additional stuff. There's not a whole lot of room in the back to add to it. That really explains how it needs to be so large, but it, it is what it is. Um, it's got a nice feel to it too. It's a mix of plastic and aluminum. Zip tie fell, I didn't break it, I swear. Uh, 
again, room for another radiator on the front if you want to do dual radiators for uh, custom loop. There's, it's, it's large, so you could do a custom loop in here pretty easy. Uh, came with two, the 140 millimeter fans, or two 40 millimeters. I don't know, I've been drinking. Uh, and sauce, sauce stack, whatever. Um, there's a couple of fans. They feel very, very, very cheap. Most case fans, uh, they come with cases are less than impressive. They're usually loud. Um, they feel chintzy. They are chintzy. But they're free, so that's nice. I like free stuff. This case is actually something that I considered before the P400 that I purchased for myself. And after finally actually getting my hands on it and being able to do everything that I wanted with it, I think I made the right choice. Now, this is a very nice case, and it's... I drop a mic. <laughs> uh, this is a very nice case. And I'm actually planning on doing a build on it. Um, I might even start it tonight. I'm not sure. Uh, I have plans tonight, so... We'll see. Uh, I, I do like it and I think it'll be really fun to do a little bit of mods in like um, I, I don't know I'm thinking about doing like decoupage on it or something like get like um, old comics that I have laying around I got a couple boxes full of them and uh, you know making something interesting on the back instead of just plain black maybe decoupage some uh, Batman or comics or something on there or maybe do some paint with it I, I'm not sure yet I might just keep it stock uh, but I am doing a Ryzen build in this. I got my hands on a 1500X, and that will be my next video. Um, so if, if you want to see what this looks like with stuff inside of it, uh, you know, come back soon, subscribe, put the, put the little icon that gives you reminders, and uh, come and watch my video in a couple of days, because uh, I'll, I'll show you what it looks like with everything in it. Um, one of the things that I found interesting in this case, and I don't know if I really love it or not, uh, but is it definitely worth noting, is that it's not a full uh, basement. There's an opening here, so how they how they made it look like it's a full basement is they just put a, a black strip on the bottom of the window. So, I mean, it doesn't make really a big difference because you put a window on here, and it's got a full basement, it's gonna look like you got a full basement there, but I know like uh, certain other cases, you can you can put your SSDs here, or you can put like decoration here, and you can see it, and then you don't have this big black bar. I, did, it, did it cost them less to put the bar here instead of the bar here? I'm not really sure why they did that. Um, it does allow them to put the hard drives in the front instead of the back, and I do know, um, at least with cheaper cases, for me, I hated taking the back panel off because, you know, when there's not a whole lot of cable management uh, routes back there, you end up kind of, you know, shoving the thing down like an overloaded suitcase and pushing it in and screwing it in and hoping that you never have to open it again. I, I mean, I've even used duct tape in, the, in some cheap, cheap, cheap cases in the past. Uh, That's probably me being lazy, but... Um, I have done it, so I don't know. It, maybe maybe that's what what they're going for. It it's it's an interesting idea, I guess. Um, this does look scratched up. It still has the cellophane on it. It is a brand new case. Uh, I'll, I'm not taking that off in this one. So if you wanna if you wanna see the whole you know removal of the cellophane, uh, you can come back and watch my next video. But since I am not building in this guy that's about all I have to say about it um, for what it is a mini or micro ATX case it's excessively large uh, it, it has every feature you'd want in it and from my understanding it does have pieces that you can buy online to customize it like put your graphic card up and down that for some reason is becoming the new thing I don't really get it, but uh, 
It is. Um, it's a good case. I mean, uh, personally, I, I, I almost spent nothing on this because I, I bartered for it. But uh, I believe it's under $100. I should probably look that up. I'll put like a price right here, right there, yeah. Uh, when I actually look it up and I actually edit this video. Uh, I'm not going to be editing this video tonight. I have plans, but that's about all I've got to say about that. <laughs>